Hello, today I'll be showing you a Photoshop tutorial on CS6 on how to make an iPod similar to this. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to open up Photoshop, which I have open right here, and you want to make a new, you want to get a file new, and I already did this, but you're going to want to title it iPod or something that you'll remember, and you're going to want to set this to inches, and make the width 8, and make the height 10. Set the res resolution to 300, and you're going to click OK, but since I already did that, I'm not. So you have your blank document here, and you want to know, and you want to make an accurately sized um, iPod. Now the model I'm using is just an iPod Nano. I I forget what year it is, but the actual dimensions are 1.5 inches by three, and I that that seems a little too small. So what I did with mine was. I scaled it up twice, twice as much, so it would be um, 3 by 7 So what I did to do that is I went to View, and I clicked on Rulers, and now you have um, dimensions and borders around your document. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Rectangle tool, and drag it out until the width is 3 inches and the height is around 7 inches. So now what you're going to do is you're going to move the rectangle in the center and you're going to look at your layers to make sure it's there above the background, not part of it. And as, as you know, with most iPods, they have rounded edges, and we're going to be using the pen tool to accomplish that. In order to do that, you got to go select another tool first, and click on your rectangle, and make sure you get a sign that says, the shape layer must be rasterized before proceeding, rasterize, rasterize the shape, and you click OK. And now you're going to go to the pen tool. I'm going to zoom in to show you how I'm going to do this next part. And you're going to click one corner and select another, but hold it, hold it down. And now, as you can see, you're kind of making a curve to it. And that looks about right. And that's all you need to do for this corner, and you just got to repeat that with all of them, making sure that you connect all the dots. I'll begin recording once I have all the dots filled in. Alright, so as you can see, I've connected all my points and made curves to all the edges of my rectangle. So, um, alright, now, what you're gonna get, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your mouse button and whoops, now but go back to your pen and click mask. And now you have a rounded rectangle. Um, the next step I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna require um, you to change the background from black to gray, and you'll see why in a second. To do that, you go to Edit and Fill, uh, Color, and that gray should be fine. Alright, so you have your gray rectangle. Now, to make it have a three-dimensional look, um, you're gonna, we're going to add some shadow to it using the Burn tool. Now, to use the Burn tool, you um, it's, it's under the dodge tool, sponge tool if you have one of those selected, but you click on an area, holding shift, you 
drag it down the edges of your layer. And I'm going to do that to all four sides, holding shift and oops. So once again, I'm going to go, I'm going to click and shift and drag down. And I'm going to do that with the rest of these edges. And to give it a little more depth, you can darken it even more by going over it again. Only a little bit closer to the edge. And that looks good. <coughs> now, now what you're going to do is on one side of the iPod, if you left or right, you're going to do the same thing, only you're going to press Shift and Alt first. Oops. Not Shift and Command, whoops. Um, you're going to go to Shift and Alt and do the same thing, drag it down, and now you have a shine. Now we could just end it here, put a screen on it, an image, and call it an iPod, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to make it look a little more realistic first. <laughs> um, you're going to go to our filter and go to noise, add noise and go to Gaussian and make sure that's at 12.5 it, it's, it's a good setting as it is um, now as you can see it looks a little more metallic now the next step, step is to duplicate, duplicate this um, rectangle uh, layer, duplicate layer um, rectangle, you don't need to rename it or anything but this is going to be the screen, so we're going to fill it black. We've got a color, black. And we are going to rescale this down to the, um, to the width and height of a screen. Um, I'm not sure why this part isn't disappearing. Let me try going to another tool. Let's apply it. Um, that's a little weird. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. Um, let me try that again. There we go. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just make it sure. Just make sure that it's close enough to the edges, and everything looks even and not disproportionate. All right. For the sake of time, um, I'm gonna leave it at that. And. To make it look a little more three-dimensional, we can add a bevel around the screen to make it have to make it look like it has some depth. So to do that, we go to um, layer, layer style, bevel and emboss, and we're gonna do pillow and bevel. I mean pillow and emboss. And in the book, it just tells you to do an inner bevel, but I found that pillow and emboss was much better to use. Depth I set to 60%. Um, you want to make sure that's up. Um, I set that to 1. I set the soft to 3. And this was set to 60. And I click OK. And that looks pretty good. It has some depth to it, and it's starting to look like a screen, except for this portion, these two sides are. Not even, but to fix that. Oops. I'm sorry. To fix that, we can go Command T or Control T. Um, 
And it looks like we are not able to do that at the moment, so I'm going to go into the next step. Now we're going to make the um, make the trap pad. Um, so to do that, we're going to go to add a new layer. I think this is that new layer. Guess not. Um, now we're going to go add, add a new layer, and we're going to go to the eclipse tool, which is also under the rectangle tool. Only have to hold it down and select the eclipse tool. Um, to get a nice perfect circle, you're going to hold shift, and that looks about right. Um, so now you have your eclipse. Not eclipse, ellipse. <laughs> um, you can rescale it um, to your preference. I'll keep it like that. Um, you can, you can of course change it to any color you like, but I'm going to change it to. I'm going to change it to a white color. And go on to the next step, and um, I'm going to cut out. I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool, and I'm going to cut out a, per a portion of the circle. it. I'm going to center it a bit. I'm using the arrow keys to do this. And I'm just going to say delete. And that, that is all you need to do for that. Control D or Command D to get rid of it. And for this for this ellipse now, um, I also added a bevel effect to go back to your layer styles. Um, bevel and boss. Um, Hello and boss. 60. 1. 3. And I believe I had both of these um, at the default. Um, looks like a little too much bubble, but you can mess around with the settings and you can clearly see now that it has some depth to it. Um, uh, the next and final step I'm going to show you is how to make a triangle for the play button. Um, most of you probably already know how to do this, but I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial. You go to your um, rectangle tool and hold shift to make a square. Uh, not that. <laughs> you shift, hold, make sure to Unclick it first, and then let go of the shift. Um, make it white. Um, make sure you get that sign to edit it. Um, and now that I realize, oh, well, I can just move it. I'm gonna move it here. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control or Command T if you're on Mac. Rotate it 45 degrees. That's good enough. Um, now you're going to go to the Eraser tool and hold Shift and erase a portion of the iPod. And now you're going to go Command T again, run it, and then scale down. Do that again. And now you have. And now you have your play button. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I know I didn't um, show you how to change colors or add any of the text or images to it, um, mainly because of time. But you get the general concept of 
how to make it look realistic and add depth to images, add depth to layers without using um, photos from the internet. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy your um, year at Mr. Fleischer's class.